Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, we have, uh, for your viewing pleasure, a Tesseract Vault and a Tesseract Arc. So, uh, this is a plastic kit put out by Games Workshop. Uh, this client requested that we make these pieces removable. Originally, we had tried to magnetize them. In fact, uh, I have another uh, video report about this. And uh, that, did, that did not work. Uh, the magnets were not strong enough to hold these out uh, with the leverage that was exerted against them. And uh, so we pinned them using these little scarab pins. Um, <clears throat> this one's a little wonky. Um, I'm sure it goes in somehow because I've seen it put together before. I think uh, each one of these actually goes in a specific, uh, specific slot. So, um, so anyway, uh, but this bottom part is really amazingly awesome. It's swarming with scarabs. You can see them a lot better now. It's an inquisitorial rhino. Uh, these little uh, tubes, like they're almost feeding on the pieces. Um, it's, it's a really good uh, rep, uh, modeling representation of, the, of what the scarabs do, that supposedly they, they disintegrate vehicles. Um, I particularly really like these, like, uh, entombed spider things here uh, that have kind of this jewel-like uh, glowing piece on there. Uh, naturally, the Catan himself is like really cool looking. He's done much lighter, uh, which I think really brings him out as a focal point of the piece. And uh, you have like tons of little scarabs on the inside. Let's see if you can see those. Can we see? Yeah, they, yeah, there's, I think there's like 400 of them that each individually need to be picked out, which makes this a, a very, very, very challenging project. I think I said very just three times there. Uh, okay, this is a Tesseract Arc. It's in a, it's a Forge World piece. Uh, it's in uh, one of the Forge World books uh, that I haven't read yet. And uh, it's a very difficult piece to put together. Um, but uh, as you can see, the result is absolutely spectacular. I know nothing about it. Maybe somebody can can give us some, uh, some input here on what it does. Uh, got a little bit of, uh, um, you know, uh, damage on the back there. Uh, that that is on purpose. That's a painted effect. Uh, in fact, you see a little battle damage on the upper parts here. And uh, the pilot is really, really amazingly cool. Got a little free hand on the top. Some of this ice blue put in there, which I think is a nice juxtaposition. And uh, naturally, uh, like is our standard, it's got one eighth inch metal rod on it for uh, sturdiness. We do not, hey Ren, uh, we do not use the GW plastic uh, flight stands, at least not the smaller ones, uh, because they do, uh, they do break uh, a little more easily and we don't like that. This also has magnetized weapons. I'm not showing the other weapons at this time, but uh, it does have them. So uh, these are really two spectacular pieces, and um, so uh, I hope that you have got your inspiration for the day.